Hello, so I'm going to talk you through the MQTT plugin uh, and some of the work that I've done during this dev jam. Uh, my name is Craig Gallen and I come from Southampton and in Southampton we've been working on an air quality measurement uh, capability for the city using OpenNMS to store the data. So first thing to talk about is the OpenNMS MQTT plugin. And very briefly, because uh, I did talk about this last year, basically it allows OpenNMS to connect to an MQTT broker on a given uh, topic and receive the messages and then parse the messages either into OpenNMS events or into OpenNMS time series data, depending on what's the event. So it's very flexible and it allows MQTT messages from any IoT device to be dealt with in OpenNMS in some appropriate way. So during this dev jam, I worked with Ronnie to move it onto OpenNMS Forge, which is the kind of uh, catch-all for OpenNMS projects that aren't actually OpenNMS. Uh, so the plugin is now there. And uh, under the releases tab, you will see under V005, this is the release we worked on this week that works with uh, OpenNMS Horizon 24. And basically to make it work, you drop this car file into the deploy directory and then just make sure you have the configuration uh, set up appropriately. And if you read the instructions on the site, you'll see how to do that. So that's what we did with the MQTT plugin and that took a couple of days to get sorted. And then the second thing that I've been working on is Grafana. Now Grafana has had uh, map uh, plugins for some time, but there hasn't been an easy way to connect that into OpenNMS. But they've introduced uh, a Postgres uh, data source, which allows us to get the latitude and longitude data out of OpenNMS and then display uh, nodes and data on a map. And the actual, uh, if you look on Grafana, uh, their own Grafana site, you'll see that there is a world map plug in there. Now that works, but it doesn't allow you to do links from uh, points on the map to, to jump to other places in, in your display. So there is a fork of that, which is called the world map uh, panel from, from the Hive Eyes community. And that's the one that I've been using. And that's available on GitHub and there's instructions there on how to install it. Um, but basically what it allows you to do is to associate a point on your map with the URL. When you click on the point, then that generates a new URL, which will drop you into a different place on the display. And you can see this is, this is the data, the PM 2.5, PM 10 data that we're collecting at this particular site in Southampton. And you can see here that uh, Nesta 6 is uh, Kent Road. So Kent Road is somewhere around here. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. Anyway, you can click on it and can see. Now, just to show you very briefly how that works, if I open this up, to, uh, yeah. there we go, nothing ever easy. So the data source basically is a very simple select against the Postgres database in OpenNMS. And it's pulling out the latitude and longitude from the assets table, and it's pulling out other bits of data from the nodes table. So that, that gives us the raw information we work with. And then if you look at the world map side of things itself, basically you say which field you want in the table to use. So I'm obviously using the latitude field for latitude, longitude for longitude. I'm not using any metrics from OpenNMS at the moment. So all of the dots will show up the same color and they won't change, but that's fine. And then I'm using the description field to give me the text that's going on the, uh, on the, the map. And then finally, I have a click through URL down here, which basically allows you to build up the URL and the query that you're going to use to make the uh, map jump around. So you can see I've, I've added in the foreign ID and the foreign source. And so whenever I click on a particular point on the map, that will generate the foreign ID and foreign source so that I actually end up here with the URL that I'm expecting. Um, you know, the, the actual query on this, if I go to the end, will be, ah. <laughs> Not good. So, uh, so that can only support to the or can you, link it to other things you can link it to other things. So you can link it to OpenNMS itself. So you could link it to the node page in OpenNMS. You can create the URL for that. 
uh, which again, very useful to move around. So yeah, it's quite powerful. So that's what I've been doing this week. Thank you very much for letting me share.